What's up guys, it is I, once again, Mr. Gamer 990 and welcome to another part of our Let's Play series on Uncharted The Lost Legacy after the insanity that was the last puzzle from the previous episode we are back as Chloe Frazier and Nadine Ross so let's examine the uh, object over here this one, the uh, triangle, good well, looky here mm -hmm. What are you willing to bet? Lucky, lucky. Roger, some kind of key? Gold star for you. Gold star. Well, let's see what it does. Sure, Chloe. Sense of humor. Is it ancient and, uh, porcelain jigsaw puzzle? Mm-hmm. Jigsaw puzzle. You said it. And uh, what do we do? Change uh, active dial here. And let's change this one to over here. Of course. Actually. I'm making an X. We need to go this way. I have no clue what the fuck we're supposed to do, but we have to make an axe, as uh, Chloe Frazier point out. And let's turn the uh, thing over here, the handle, this way to this direction. And I think we're done. Actually, no, we need to go to the bottom one, the uh, bottom below. And uh, let's just change the dial quickly to this way. And I think we can get it, good. And now let's change the dial once more to uh, this direction. Yeah, we got guys, nice. Nice to see you. Shiva, Shiva. yeah. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. I was see? guessing it's you know Shiva. Treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Yeah. Now there's being a mercenary. Mm -hmm. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know it's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. Yeah, sure, Chloe. Sure. Not as practical as Nadine Ross, but still very enjoyable. Her uh, crazy sense of humor of Chloe. I prefer Nadine Ross's more practical, intelligent nature. Chloe's intelligent, but quite crazy too. We need to go to the other uh, temples or ruins. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. Yeah. And you were worried we were going to turn that crank and die. <laughs> yeah. It's this always good. Daughter with me. Yeah, to be worried it and be cautious. Up, eh? It had its moments. Archaeologist's daughter. I learned a lot. That she is. And this a thief too. Kind of his thing. Hmm. Took up a lot of his time, though. Your dad wasn't there, but no. he. I go digging for treasure. We better make a buck or two. Was more interested I'm in. Sure. You know. I don't take big risks without a good payday. Archaeology. So. However, you army, huh? pronounce it. Responsibility. Mm -hmm. Second nature. I it's my father's see. company. He retired. I took over. Mm -hmm. Family business. Yeah. Oh. I can see where uh, Chloe's rebellious nature came from. Oh, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, the Drake brothers. Sam and uh, Nathan. Nate. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. <laughs> yeah. Chloe and uh, Nate had something so going on. Before, uh, There's the fort marked with a bow in the lake bed. Nathan and, and uh, the fort sporting the trident above the waterfalls. Yeah, we're going there. Before he and Elena Fisher were a gem, you Suppose know. Suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Or a I diamond. I know Nate pretty well. Sam mm. less so. Beautiful. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I can see Let's where. Head back to the car her rebellious nature came from God, and I love a uh, luckily for her I am uh, made you dodge the axes. <laughs> yeah of course uh, Nadine but luckily for Chloe I am quite a rebel myself I am what you call a rebel with heart or a rebel with a rebellious heart however you want to define it but I've always been a rebel growing up Kind of like yeah. James Dean in the uh, 1950-something classic, Rebel Without a Cause, because that's basically what I am, a rebel without a cause, at least for now. I have no purpose, but my purpose for now at least is to see my beloved friend, that is, uh, 
the uh, young lady I mentioned many times before because I'm a very obsessed moron about her and that's Sharon. Just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. Yeah? I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. Yeah. I hear that. And, uh... But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus on? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. But yeah, I'm very obsessed about Sharon, just as she is obsessed about the uh, Mostly. girl she likes. How old were you when you started? Young. Huh? Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way. Yeah. And then I could get the upper hand. Except, uh, I always prefer the direct approach. Yeah, my obsession works, I say. for Sharon doesn't come from love. The same kind of love uh, that uh, she has for the girl she likes. It's more of a love that is a uh, sisterly or sibling type love between comrades, between brother and sister. And love can be defined in many ways. It doesn't have to be, you know, platonic or intimate. Love is just love, the way, you know, those uh, people in the LGBT community, which I am bisexual by the way, but I don't associate myself with the LGBT community because I am my own person and I'm gonna die my own person because that's how I roll, that's how Mr. Gamer 990 is. I love Sharon and I hope to see her someday and trust me guys and gals, I will, but we have to head for that building over there, that circle type environment, you know, the one behind us and let's go there right now we have to i think cross this way no it would be a lot easier if we could add a marker on the uh, circle spot behind us i don't know what the hell you know naughty dog were thinking when they were making this game or developing it but we have to go back because i missed the spot we should be at to reach the area we're supposed to go to right over there give me a second yeah what Give me a second. Yeah, you do that, Nadine Ross. All you can do is wait and watch as Chloe Frazier is up to her crazy antics. And up we go over here. And I think we're right in front of the building. Let's just be sure here. We need to go further up and see what we can find. Can we go up this way? No, we can't. We need to find a alternate round and we can actually go from here. I just didn't notice that spot and that's how we can get up over here through the Jeep. So let's go back on the Jeep and here we go. Yeah, let's go up. Nadine, whoopsie daisy and where's the bridge? Over here, good. I don't think we can go up there through the Jeep. I mean, if we can go up there on foot, it could be possible through Jeep and yeah, it is. So where exactly is the ruined building or the temple rather? Yeah, up the uh, wall here. But how do we go up? There is a cliff over here or some kind of, you know, way we can go up here. Up we go. And what do we find up here? Yeah, it's a broken bridge of sorts. And what's behind us? The temple, apparently. So let's go explore it. Wow, nice flowers or plants and uh, looking at flowers will not, you know, solve the puzzles that awaits us. But entering the temple will, in fact, lead us to the puzzles we have to solve. <laughs> no waiting, I guess, for Nadine Ross. Magnificent. Yeah, you can say that. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. Roy Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Yeah, of course. Looks like they put up a good fight. Mm -hmm. They did. Against the Persians. Maybe it didn't last. But their loss is our gain. Mm-hmm. Right? Can say that. That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. Yeah, this. So what does that mean? I don't know, but it looks as though we have yeah. two more symbols to find. Mm -hmm. Two Can't more be that. symbols. So I guess we're done here. 
and is uh, Asav's men going to ambush us? I hope not, because they're going to die, and it's for their own good not to mess with the two sexy ladies that is Chloe Frazier and my favorite of the two, Nadine Ross. Yes, guys and gals, I said it. I love Nadine Ross more than Chloe Frazier because Chloe Frazier is way too crazy for me. I love my ladies who are more practical and use their head and not take chances without thinking about the consequences of their actions slash choices. Jump like the crazy lady you are, Chloe Frazier, and let's enter the Jeep and head to the uh, next area right down there and the other one right there and i don't get why we have to go up here to that cylinder point i guess it's for us to see the cutscene, and we can also uh, find the symbol we seek so here we go to the uh, lamp area over there but can we go through this way I don't think so. So yeah, we need to go back down here the hard way, the long way rather. Down we go, slide baby, slide. Yeah, quite a long way indeed. And let's drop down like this because why not? Okay, here we go. We should be able to reach the uh, area. There's guys all over there. Well, here goes. But Asav's dumbass men are over there, and we have to take them down as usual. And jump over here, Chloe, and drop. Let's take those cocksuckers out, shall we? Roll over here, and uh, who will be the first cocksucker to die? Yeah, one, two, three and more cocksuckers to be found. Yeah, guys and gals, they are cocksuckers, I know. That guy has a fucking rock launcher. It's very bad. Once asshole with the rocket launcher turns around, we're taking out his brother. And he oh, you did that for us, Nadine. Thank you very much. And let's take out the cocksucker with the rock launcher. You see, guys and gals, I love Nadine, I really do. I am going to wait over here until one of these cocksuckers comes towards uh, Chloe and we'll take them out the old fashioned way. Either by choking them or breaking their damn necks. I can be quite sadistic when it comes to assholes like these because they're asking for trouble and yeah, we've been spotted. Shit, shit, shit. We need to go this way, this, this way, this way. And uh, take the asshole over here. Fuck you, bitch boy. Oh, you're gonna die? You're gonna die so bad? Yeah, fuck you. What the fuck? Whoa. We need to take cover right now. Go this way. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? A fucking rocket launcher, guys. There's a rocket launcher somewhere. Or oh, a guy carrying a rocket launcher. And where the fuck is he? Where the fuck is he? Oh, there's the cocksucker with the rocket launcher. Right up there. If you guys and gals can see him, let's take him out. Oh, wait, no. It's not the cocksucker with the, you know, rocket launcher. It's just a fucking statue. A statue of who? I don't know. And to be honest, I don't care. But at least all the enemies are down. Or so we think. There should be some that remains over here but for now let's get on top of the truck and take what items we can find and there are no items too bad so where do we go right now are one of the enemies hiding inside the building over here i don't think so but let's take the item this one what is it anyways some kind of pendant or coin i have no idea but i think we got a pretty cool item wait update map what the hell does that mean? One of the enemies are over here. I just can't spot him, the cocksucker. Let's try to unlock the case over here and see what we can find. But if that cocksucker dares to, you know, interfere us as we are trying to unlock the case over here, he's gonna die. Oh, he will. And here we go, good. Let's take what items we can find. And what the fuck is that? Yeah, some ammo for our, you know, gun with the uh, scope and silencer. And let's take the cocksucker down over here. Oh, what the fuck do you want to do, boy? Nothing. Yeah, you're dead, bitch. In the clear. Let's mm -hmm. They're all down. And what the fuck do we do now? 
I have no clue, but I think we need to examine the uh, map over here. Yeah, we are close to the area that we have to go to, the lamp. So let's go there right now. But first, we have to head back to the Jeep. Calling those guys cocksuckers reminds me of the TV show by HBO called Deadwood, which had three seasons before it was cancelled by HBO because I guess of, you know, uh, financial issues or just production issues or so many issues that went into production. So yeah, Deadwood was a very good TV show, but the show is very notorious for its use of languages, foul languages, very vulgarous foul languages, which includes the word cocksucker, cunts, fuck, among many foul languages that was used on the show. But yeah, it's a pretty good TV show. One I do recommend you guys and gals watch, if you wish, and if you can handle the use of languages, the mature content, violence, sexual content, among many things that the TV show has to offer. I guess we have to take down more of the South's boys who are waiting for us right over there. But first, let's unlock the case over here and find some more goodies. Here we go. Good. We unlock the case. And what do we find? Wow. Is that a assault rifle? I think so. Should we take it? Nah. I love the grenade launcher over here and the pistol with the silencer and scope. None of Asav's men are over here except for the temple which is right in front of us. So let's enter the temple. But first we have to go back to the jeep and take the hook. We just need to move the jeep closer over here. Stop the vehicle okay. or jeep and take the hook. Yeah, once more, exactly. Hook the well hook over here. And uh hey, I'll take care of this one. Yeah, okay. you do that, Nadine. Pull baby, pull. Anytime now, please pull. Or do you wanna stand there? I guess you want to stand there. And here she goes, guys. Yeah, here she goes. Nice. Good. Mm hmm Thank you very much, Nadine Ross. And in we go inside the temple. And what do we find? Up. I have no idea. Yeah, up. And we have to jump uh, across the uh, hill over here and fuck. Yeah, lucky. Very, very lucky. And what the fuck? What the fucking hell? Guys, where are they? Where the fuck are they? I don't see them. Oh, that's where they are. We need to uh, go up here and shoot these bitches in the face. Good. And uh, you two, shoot in the face. Yeah, thank you very much, Nadine. That's it. Wow. These cocksuckers are quite it's sneaky. Come on. Yeah, can't be helped. And let's reload. How the fuck do we uh, reload? Oh fuck, guys, I threw a fucking grenade. And yeah, the grenade went off. But I was trying to uh, reload the gun we have. And we have to jump to that building. No, we have to jump over here and hang on to the hill. Yeah. Oh shit, more of these cocksuckers and uh, shoot him in the head. There we go. He's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. And we have to wait until he shows up and take him out. There he is, the sexy boy. And you're dead, bitch. Okay. We're all clear. Yeah, we are. Were you counting? That's the uh, trophy we got. Our second trophy. For this episode. Yeah. Her sense of humor is actually quite fun, as opposed to yours, Chloe Frazier. I love Chloe Frazier's sense of humor, but sometimes she can be quite too crazy for me to, you know, sense her humor. We have to jump over here, good, and this way, up on the uh, hill or cliff or whatever the fuck this is called. And we need to jump this way, land, land, good, and we are inside the temple. Yeah, head start. Besides, doesn't mm -hmm. matter who starts, only who finishes. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Doubt it. Not from what I can tell. And uh, the building. See that? Mm -hmm. Looks like another faucet. Yeah. Let's find a way up. Another faucet. Let's go up there. We have to use the grappling hook over here. Jump. <laughs> And Follow I think me. we need to uh, run this way and grab onto one of these rocks. There we go. And jump. Up we go. And grab onto the top. Nice. And this is where we are going to end the episode. We just need to jump over here, get a checkpoint, and we are going to end it. The episode, I mean. Yeah. 
more of our friends who we are going to take out in the next one. But thank you guys and girls for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe if you wish. Until next time, peace out, take care. Adios, amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.